topics that nobody else talks about. Mm -hmm. You know, we're going to be highlighting racism and crime and, and sex and, you know, uh, subhanAllah, all the topics that we kind of hide behind closed doors and pretend us Muslims don't go through, mm -hmm. we're going to bring it to the surface, inshallah, and mm -hmm. hopefully, inshallah. you know, be a solution to these um, problems, inshallah. Muslim, Muslim girls are going out with Muslim boys and are having full sexual relationships with them. So I think it is a bit of a trend. It all is, over it the border. Is. It's like the parents aren't even being parents. So how can yeah. the children be children? Full stop. Yeah. So, but the thing is, I always hear parents saying, you look, look at the youth nowadays. But you haven't given them a chance so to they, be they, the they, youth. They don't even understand the youth this either. This is what I'm saying. It's like, hush up. Mm. But then, you so know, you're talking you about want... good and bad youth, and the youth that are given other youngsters a bad name. Definitely. They are actually in a minority. Definitely. It's a bit like the Muslims mm. who are given the wider society a bad name. Mm. So just because one bad apple in a bunch so does something... Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There is a new culture of, of Muslim youngsters that are forcing people to take their shahada Subhanallah. at gunpoint. The, the values have changed into their society, yeah, the yeah, discipline has gone, and the youth are now behaving in such a way that you cannot address them like you that. You know what, it's so true, but you know what, you know what, I, I'll be I'm honest. I'm not saying to walk, my, by the way, no, no, I'm just no, saying it's but, that much harder than it used to be. But you know what, I,